Interviews and phone calls during the hiring process can be quite daunting for some. So in today's video, let's check out three profitable remote work opportunities with a hiring process that doesn't require you to meet the employer face to face or phone to phone. First one is Babel Type. Now, Babel Type is a company that offers transcription, translation, and content analysis services. Their services involve converting audio or video recordings into text format. As you can see, they produce their work with real human beings, not software. Translation and transcription are still fields and services in which computers can be very faulty because they cannot understand context as humans can and no computer in the world can translate or understand the language as much as a human that is native to the language can. So there is always work for you here. To apply to work, click on contact, apply for work transcribers. As you can see, Babeltype is always looking for new transcriptionists and translators to add to their team, but they are very selective. Now, Babeltype is known for its attention to detail and accuracy in transcription work, so they are very selective in choosing who works for them. Here you have a video that gives a better insight into who they look for and for whom this is the right choice. So this page is for English language transcriptionists. If you're a translator, go here, we'll go there later. And Babeltype only accepts applicants who are current or past long-term residents of United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand. And they don't currently accept independent contractors from the state of California. To apply, click on the smiley face. Now, this form is pretty long since they are thorough in choosing their transcribers and translators. And by the end of it, you'll have a transcription test that requires you to create a transcript from a 10-minute recording. So no interview, no phone call, but a detailed application form and test, your contact information, your location, your age, education, and work history, English-related skills, transcription-related skills if you have any, your equipment and accounts, what kind of a computer do you have, what's the model, age, processor, memory and storage capacity, what kind of internet connection do you have, what's the current upload, download and ping speed, are you able to stay connected to the internet continuously while working, do you have Gmail and PayPal, which is required, why are you applying there, how did you hear about them, they also want to know about your available time. What other obligations in your life absorb most of your time now? Is it a full-time or a part-time job, personal or family obligation? What would be your typical weekly schedule of availability, day-to-day -day availability? What's the maximum number of hours? And so on and so on. As I said, this is a pretty lengthy form and very thorough. It wants to know a lot of details on you and you need to do a test by the end of it. But it could be very profitable. Now, Glassdoor is a website where current and former employees can anonymously review and rate companies and their workplace and where they submit pros and cons company reviews, and salary information. So as I said, this could be very profitable. The estimated total pay for a freelance transcriber slash translator at Babel Type is 52450 per year. The estimated base pay is $47,797 per year, with an estimated additional pay over $4,000. Now, this additional pay could include bonus, stock, commission, profit sharing, or tips. So, your pay is most likely to range between 39k to 59k here. And the process is the same for translators. Just a note, while I was making this video, if you're a Spanish language translator, please note that they are currently at full capacity. You can, of course, still apply and they will hold on to your information until opportunities for new translators open up. But make sure to check out did they already open up by the time you're watching this video. Now, the process is the same. You click on the smiley face to start applying. Your pay is going to be by the recorded minute, varies by language, and you can make uh, about $90 per 60-minute recording. And they almost always have translation projects running. They don't always have projects running in every language, but German, Japanese, Spanish are most common. Currently, they're not accepting Spanish language translators. And these languages are followed by Mandarin, French, 
Portuguese and Italian. Other languages are less predictable. Next up is LiveOps. It gives you an opportunity to work in retail, tax support, healthcare, patient support, inbound sales, insurance sales, insurance claims, and customer service. Now, if you click on any of these, it gives you a better view of what's expected of you and what are the recommended work hours and availability. So you can work as an agent in any of these categories. Now, as an agent with LiveOps, you're a self-employed independent contractor, not an employee. If you decide to contract with LiveOps, they will connect you with opportunities that fit your unique combination of skills and availability. Now, it's up to you. Are you making this a main hustle or a side gig? How much you can earn, that's up to you. Since you're self-employed, you're in control of your profits and losses. Different programs have different pay structures. Most opportunities pay a per talk minute rate. Basically, the more calls you take, the more you earn. So these are the three steps to starting your home business. You need to check the eligibility requirements to make sure they're currently accepting applications in your state. You need to submit an application for an available virtual contact center opportunity, and you can click to see the current openings. And you do need to pass a self-funded background check. Now, this business expense is $24.99. It is required by their clients and it is the responsibility of the applicant. Here's what this independent call center agent had to say about LiveOps at Indeed.com. They say at first they weren't sure if LiveOps was legit because of this fee of $40. So it used to be $40, but they say it was the best $40 ever spent because they walked you through every process and made sure you could make a living and be a great call agent as long as you follow the steps live ops gave them so these are the salaries at live ops and at glassdoor i found info that uh, 64 percent of ex and current employees would recommend this to a friend and 75 percent approve of ceo so as a call center representative at live ops you can expect to make around 29k to 38k a year but the most likely range is 33k per year and the estimated additional pay is $1,490 per year. So if you're interested in working as an agent for live ops, make sure you gather your info on these categories by checking out the salaries added on Indeed.com and Glassdoor. And number three is Vitec. Now, Vitec is a company specializing in providing closed captioning and accessibility services for television programs, movies, online videos, and various forms of media. They have over 35 years of industry experience and they work with every broadcast company, most cable networks and streaming channels, and a variety of producers, production companies, and content creators. Now, they offer part-time and full-time schedules based on your business and financial needs. Here are some uh, benefits of working for Vitac, dental insurance, three medical plans to choose from, paid sick time, vision insurance. Now, you can do real-time captioning or offline captioning. And they will provide you with training for this position and provide you with the equipment. Now, the only trouble with Vitag.com is that they hire on and off. So at the time I'm making this video, there are no current job openings, but you can join their talent community to be informed on the go when something suitable to your profile is open so they can get in touch with you. So this is the pay range for a captioner at Vitac. It is going to range between $29,000 to $48,000 a year. As an offline captioner, you can earn $14 to $30 an hour. And as a real-time captioner, you can earn $13 to $33 an hour. So if you're interested in working remotely, which always means better work-life balance, make sure to check out one of these three, and I hope at least one of them is suitable. Invest some time to apply, and I am sure it is going to be worth your while. Of course, make sure to check out the reviews on Glassdoor and Indeed.com and see what worked for ex-employees and current employees because it might be helpful to you as well. Good luck and thanks for watching.